In my last video, I was inspired to create a beer pong table that was automated in an unobtrusive way. Apart from how terrible of a staining job that I did and the plexiglass on the sides, it looks like a normal table. But under it, there's electronics, including magnets, stepper motors, and some 3D printed parts that move the cups around. I explain how it works a lot better in that video, so go check it out if you're interested. It's pretty good. This video, I'm gonna build on top of that to make it more interesting as well as more annoying. I'm going to make it mind controlled. No. To get started, I need something that monitors your brain. Upon doing some digging, I found the NeuroSky, MindWave, Mobile, V2, something like that. And then I saw the price. Why? Luckily, on a post of my old video, a Reddit user linked a project by And. An Andre Lee, where he found a really cheap way to get an EEG. Back in 2009, the Mattel company made a game called MindFlex, which uses your brain to levitate and move around these foam balls. Pretty impressive, honestly. Even more impressive is that you can buy these EEG headsets used on eBay for about $12. Get one of those, solder in an HC06 Bluetooth transceiver, and you have your own MindWave for a tenth of the price. And in this clip, you can see how easy it is to install the HC06 Bluetooth chip. Take out a total of six screws, solder on to three different points, and you're done. And then I made a second one. After connecting the headset to a computer, I use two different programs to interpret the data and move the cups. The first program I'm using is Brainwave OSC, which gets all the raw data from your headset and breaks it up into different attention levels, meditation levels that you can look at in these charts. The second program is coded to grab the attention levels from program number one, and once a certain threshold is broken, send a signal via the serial port to an Arduino, which moves the cups. If you look here, I'll try to focus on something and you can see this top chart increase. That's neat. The data in this top chart is being grabbed by the second program and it's displayed over here at the bottom of the second one. And then if I try to relax, not think about too much, the meditation levels in this second chart will increase. Relaxing is difficult for me. What I'm hoping to find is a correlation between how much you drink and your attention and meditation levels. If I see that the more you drink, the more relaxed you are, then I'll try to make the game to be easier the more relaxed you get. In other words, the game becomes easier the more you drink. <laughs> Do I look cool? Now it's time for me to test this out. I've got one software running to make sure that the headset can connect properly. Now I'm just gonna turn the other one on. The table still works. When you first turn on the processing software, it has to connect to the serial port so it resets the Arduino, it's fine. Now that everything's running, I've got the threshold set at 75, so once my attention levels meet that point, it will send a signal through the serial port to the Arduino to send the cups back and forth at whichever speed that I pick. Now if I just focus on something, I can see if I can get it to move. Hey! <laughs> Of course, I'll have to do some playing around to see where the threshold needs to be to make it a fun game. I wonder what else I can add mind control to. My window blinds. <laughs> Driving my Jeep. I don't want to try that. My relationship. Oh my god, Ty, are you even paying attention to me? Apparently not. Student loan debt. It's worth a shot. Okay, for real, you actually can get this thing to do pretty much whatever you want utilizing the two pieces of software that I showed you and this thing's new Bluetooth connectivity. I just can't think of anything more than a beer pong table right now. If you have any ideas of what you'd like to see me mind control, then comment below. I make sure to respond to everything, so I'll get around to you. Well, here we are in my garage again. I'm ready to test the table. Unfortunately, my roommate's got work and it looks like San Antonio is headed towards another lockdown after this whole curfew situation. But I'm not alone, I have another friend. It's so freaking competitive. I'm gonna record three, maybe four games and get the data from all of them. What I'm hoping to see is the trend that I described earlier to where the more that I drink, the less number of times the cups are gonna move back and forth. I'm also gonna be recording the length of the games and how much drink I've consumed. I've got plenty of soda, so let's go. On a Wednesday night. Game number one. Hey, one. Yes! No redemption. 
All right, well, that was game one. Wasn't too awful. Uh, I'm gonna count how many times the cups went back and forth after the fact. As you can tell, I'm not that good to begin with, but at least I'm better than a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing tube man over there. I'm gonna finish this and start game number two. Oh, dang it, I didn't even check to see. I got the computer running right here to show you that the uh, brain monitor is going to that. That's how this whole thing's going on. All right, uh, game number two. Oh, same cup, that's three. House rules. Oh, I'm so good. Never mind. All right, that was the end of game two. I do feel like I am getting better and the cups move less. Little inflatable dudes turning up the intensity over there. It's kind of crazy. While I'm thinking about it, I'm also giving myself the rule to where if the cups move, I have to shoot both my shots if I have them. So I figured that when I'm playing with real friends, sorry, uh, that would be kind of a fun thing because if there's two people on each team you'd yell at the other person like don't focus too much Because <laughs> then if the cups start moving you have to shoot your shot game number three These cups have not moved Yes, finally well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a game three just cause uh, I'm just really bad. The, the further, and I'm most likely gonna do the rest of this voiceover uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Today is tomorrow. From my bulletproof scientific research, So bad. I'll call that a win. Here are the results from the three games. The number of times the cups move decreased from 1.15 moves per minute on average to 0.545 sig figs, and in the last game to 0 0.3, 0, 0. The cups primarily moved towards the end of the game when there was just a few cups left and I was really trying to focus, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm probably gonna turn the attention threshold down just so they move more, or even more fun, I think, would be to flip it to where if you lose focus, the cups scoot out of the way. I don't know, it's all up in the air. Let me know what you think. I think you should subscribe. Thanks for watching. See y'all.